Okay, good morning. We are going to do A, what is your divine masculine feeling in the 5D? And then we are gonna do what is your masculine feeling in the 3D, okay? Here he comes, <laughs> just taking his cat. <laughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> the first part of this reading you can access on YouTube and TikTok. Um, the second part I'm gonna put up as a link for an extended reading. So if you wanna see what the end of this reading is, you can go and have a look at that via the link. What are we going to do first, please, spirit? Let's have a little look at my tattoo and intuition, I feel, for where he's at right now. And, okay, we're going to have a little look at what the Divine Masculine wants to say to you from the... Oh, <laughs> look at that, communication coming in from the Emperor. We have, uh, because he's seeking pastures new. Mm, that's a good... A good place to start. Okay, so if you haven't met me already, guys, my name is Laura. Um, I'm going to go under the name of Empress Tarawista. I am a spiritual life coach. I am an intuit. I'm a channel thought spirit. I'm a tarot reader, among other things, and a psychic medium from birth. So that's nice. So um, here we do tarot readings, looking into the divine feminines, divine masculines. We also have a look at all other kind of things as well. Sometimes do uh, tarot readings for the star signs. We look at astrology. Basically anything of magical and mayhem that's going to help you to step into your most empowered self. Um, I'm also a qualified teacher and life coach and I run courses. Um, at the moment I'm running a course for divine feminines and divine masculines who are in twin flame relationships and want to be back in union. So if any of that takes your interest or you would like a personal reading, you can access all of that down below. I just saw the others down below in the link below. Okay, so that's all access for extended readings. Please make sure that you subscribe for my channel as well. And if you like this video, please leave me a comment and uh, a like because that helps my channel to grow no end. And I really appreciate it. So let's have a little look. All right, spirit. Can we have a little look? at where our divine masculines are at the moment in the 3D, please, spirit. Oof, they're lively, you seeing these? Can we have a little look at where our masculines, oh, that's a lot of cards, are in the 3D. They're telling me to stop, okay, so stop. Okay, and we've got strength in reverse on the bottom of the pack there as well. So he could be feeling a little bit out of sorts, to say the least. I do think he's kind of feeling maybe um, like like with the with the where can you see it? There you go. With the strength in reverse, this very much feels like a, a lack of strength, a vulnerability, a feeling of impotency. Um, I just split to the six of pentacles there, so there is a feeling like possibly that he's feeling out of balance at the moment. Um, could be financially um, with that six of pentacles, five of pentacles wasn't it? The five of pentacles, not the six. So there could be a bit of a feeling, um, yeah, of a of lack at the moment in his life. And that could be causing this feeling of impotence, um, stress. Oof, okay. Oh, where's the six of pentacles? That's funny because we've got the five of pentacles that just come out now. See, there's never a mistake with these readings. There's always just, you know, know what there is, you know? Um, so let's have a little look. So we, he, the overall feeling for him at the moment is definitely feeling a little bit kind of impotent, a little bit vulnerable, not really feeling any strength in his power at this current moment in time. So that's fair enough. However, for the rest of the reading, let's have a look at look, little, a little look, having trouble speaking. So he's also not communicating, having issues with communication. Okay, so the first card that we've got that's come out is Temperance card here. This is the sign of Sagittarius, so you may be dealing with the Sagittarius. Strong Leo energy there with the Strength card. What else have we got on the board here? Libra, Air signs, Water signs, Earth signs. Anything else? I think that's kind of across the board of what we've got here. Um, yeah. Kind of, kind of most things represented. No fire here just yet, other than that Leo card and the Sagittarius card. And we did see the Emperor in the beginning, didn't we, which is Aries. So we could have some fire signs here as well. But remember that Zodiacs are there for extra information. When you look at people's natal charts, they're, they're generally across the whole 
sky. <laughs> so don't don't take like, oh, well, she said she said Libra. So that that's not for me because lots of people have like air signs, Libra, do you know what I mean? So yeah, just take it as extra information rather than that it has to be dead set that. So we have temperance here. So I feel like in the third, in the 3D, uh, third dimension, I was going to say, which is which is what it is. But, you know, here in the 3T, in the material realm, I do feel like your masculines are working at the moment on kind of um, moderating themselves, finding some self-control, having a little bit of time to kind of recuperate at the moment. Now, with this strength card in reverse, I do feel as if they may be kind of suffering something at the moment in a 3D that has destabilized them. Now, I do know from previous readings, a lot of the divine feminines have actually closed the door to their masculines at the moment. And this could be the thing that is causing that feeling of like, like destabilization with that, with him. Yeah, underneath the strength card, we have got the sun card, but then there's the judgment in reverse and the emperance in reverse, the emperance, the empress in reverse underneath that as well. So I do feel a little bit like the empress and the judgment in reverse. This has been a judgment that has been cast upon them that is causing them to feel a little bit destabilized. Um, with the sun card there, it is a positive thing. So they might not be feeling that as a positive thing at this current moment in time because the e the um, divine masculines tend to be very trapped in their egos. Okay, so yes, he's feeling destabilized. Yes, he's not feeling particularly good at the moment, but ultimately this will be something that will make him feel uh, feel better. Okay, in the long run. So we, remember, we're doing this for him, not to him, <laughs> at this current moment in time. So. Let's have a little think. So we've got temperance here. Temperance talks about bringing balance, healing, moderation, um, dealing with kind of alchemy of things that don't serve you. I am hearing drinking problems, which I'm seeing with these cups here. So I, I, I've, I wonder if we have masculines here that maybe, this doesn't have to be like being an alcoholic, but certainly using substances, using alcohol to numb our feelings rather than process them um, that could be leading to why he's feeling a little bit destabilized at the moment perhaps he's trying to stop drinking and then is attempting to kind of manage emotions at the moment okay and that could be leading him into feeling a little bit kind of like oof, vulnerable vulnerable because if you're not used to feeling your emotions and you're used to drowning them out and then ignoring them you know that's an easy thing to do so we do have the world card following we've got a lot of major arcane here here we've got one two three four five five six seven if you're counting the cards on the bottom of the pack so there's a lot of major arcane here so this is big big stuff big feelings so we move then from temperance into the world card and this talks about long journey but it also looks towards completion, also talks about um, possible rewards um, and moving through the stages in life. So I do feel a little bit like our divine masculine. I'm, I'm seeing Taurus, Leo, Aquarius and um, Scorpio here as well on the card of the world card. OK, for the four corners. So. I do feel a little bit like he is going through the process at the moment. And this is just a pathway that needs to be walked for him at the moment in the 3D. I'm seeing that he's trying to level himself up. He is trying to get rid of bad habits. He's trying to move away from things that don't serve him. But in doing this, it is causing him a bit of imbalance because he because, you know, it's 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 not something that he's just doing. And we see this again continuing with the um with the justice card here out of out of of river in reverse i was going to say i don't know what i was trying to say and, and this this often talks about kind of like having um you know possibly being out of balance so it's interesting that we do have temperance here in upright strength card in reverse and then oh hang on yeah because that was in reverse wasn't it so it's strength card in reverse and judgment and the emperance upright okay so so yeah strength in reverse definitely feeling um weak vulnerable not sure how to move forward i feel like he's trying to bring in moderation into his life at the moment there are cycles ending out for him but he's having trouble bringing these things into balance um this could be to do with some oversensitivity. it can be to do with like self-righteousness and brigatry i feel like this is very much like the ego getting involved like you know when he's wanting to fix things he's wanting to move through things he's having real difficulty doing this because his ego in effect is holding him back um and and in two cards time we get to see the hanged man in reverse which i'll talk about in a moment um but before that we have the seven of swords so this leads me to think that a lot of the 
kind of um, issues that he's going through at the moment are mental ones. This speaks to me that possibly with the top row of these things, that there is a little bit overthinking, perhaps some, I don't want to say mental illness, but, you know, mental difficulties, anxiety, fear, concern, trying to process this stuff that's sort of going on up in the head that can kind of holding him back. But we have got the seven of swords here. So this does talk a lot. This does talk about being cunning. This talks about being skillful, trying to circumvent the problems that you have in your mind and the, the problems that are going on. And this also talks about considering um, an escape from an imprisoning situation. So I feel like our divine masculines at the moment are looking at their lives, excuse me, are looking at their lives and trying to work out where is this pain coming from? Why am I feeling vulnerable? What can I do about this? And actually trying to take this as a more of a pragmatic uh, approach. But following then into the hangman in reverse, there is a feeling of temporary difficulties, temporary delays, and being a little bit in limbo at the moment. And I feel like this is just through a lack of self-knowledge in effect. He doesn't know where to move. He doesn't know how to do it or what to do. Um, and this is causing him to have some some problems, okay, because we then move into the Five of Swords, and this talks about losses, this talks about you acting, you know, him acting may, mostly from his own ego, in effect, and how this has caused him problems in his life, so I do feel like this, he is reflecting, I feel like we are in, a, in, in, an, in an essence of reflection, you're noticing I'm having difficulty speaking, and I think this is because he isn't sharing this with anybody, this is all stuff that's going up cerebrally, up in his mind, we see this with the swords here, we haven't got any fire sign, fire, we haven't got any wands here, we have one suit of cups, one suit of pentacles, okay, Oh, that's a lie. We've got two cups, but they're both in reverse. So this is this is him thinking, 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 up here, up here, panicking, overthinking, worrying, like, what? I'm, I'm hearing, what the hell have I done? What the hell have I done? Okay? So I do feel like he's made some decisions to move forward with life, but now is possibly worried. And I feel like maybe some of those decisions were made with the thought that the Divine Feminine would be in his life. And now the Divine Feminine has walked away and closed that door. And the, it's all temporary, you know, if you're if you're the divine feminine, you know that if he came to you fixed and sorted and ready to go forward with this healing done in place, there would be cards on the table ready to play. But he doesn't know that at this point. What he is experiencing right now is loss, fear, worry, and concern. And good. And I know that sounds horrible, but this is a good thing because this will lead him into actually making the changes in life that he needs to make. Sometimes it's only somebody that you love walking away from you that is enough for you to put those changes in, in place, okay? So um, I do feel as if at the moment with the Five of Swords, he is feeling very loss, uh, very, a lot of loss. Um, he is feeling like that he's at, that he's kind of reflecting. I feel like he's reflecting a lot on the, on the movements that he's made in life. I don't know why I can't talk. It's very irritating. Um, okay, I'm just seeing the word chunk as well, I don't know why, I don't know whether you guys, whether that's like a nickname, like chunk, I don't know, he's like a big guy and you call him, come on chunk, you know, I just saw that for some reason just when I was pausing, so, but this five of swords definitely feels a little bit like he's looking back at his life and just thinking, where he's fucked up, basically, where he has had opportunities for things with other people to to love them and find love and community with people, but instead he's chosen himself and his own ego over these things, and and it's it's caused pain. It's caused a lot of pain and suffering for him, you know, um, unnecessarily, unnecessarily so, um, because if he had not had these egoic issues, he probably would have found that there would have been you know, love and opportunity for him. <clears throat> we then move into the two of cups. So again, this talks about kind of like um, two heads being better than one, looking towards teamwork um, and trying to find a way to agree and compromise to move forward. And, and again, both of these cups are pouring out and I feel like this is how he feels at the moment. I think he feels as if he has lost what he wanted and, um, and now is reminiscing um, that he has made a terrible error, okay? And this is also causing some material struggle for him, possibly some health issues, um, and, and 
you, this also talks about kind of issues with, you know, partnership, family loyalties, a feeling of loss, a feeling of disadvantage, okay? And um, this is how he is feeling. You know, he feels like you've actually walked away. And I feel like he's just been starting to put things in place to, but the thing is he's not communicating any of this. This is the thing. So he's he feels like I'm doing things to change things, um, but actually he hasn't communic communicated any of this with the Divine Feminine. And so how the hell is she supposed to know? So here again, we have this um, Knight of Cups in, in reverse. And this can talk again about kind of like trying to use cunning um, can talk about kind of fraud as well. And I feel like this is talking about where he's at at the moment because actually um, he's, I don't feel as if, again, he's not communicating how he's feeling at the moment with, with anybody. Um, and so he is feeling rather lost, okay? I, I wanted to pull this card out from the Oracle of Mystical Moments for some reason. And you can see here that he is under the umbrella. So there's this feeling of, of, um, being under the weather, feeling overtaken by external stuff that he has no control over, feeling very um, at a loss of how to move forward, feeling very trapped, I'm hearing. Um, yeah, feeling very trapped, feeling very at a loss, okay? Um, let's have a little look at how he's feeling in the 3D. Um, and I feel, you know, I feel like he is making making some movement towards things, and we are seeing progress with him, but um, but he isn't he's not really communicating that with anybody. So <laughs> how is anybody supposed to know? So I do feel he's sort of wallowing a little bit in his own, you know, in his own stuff that he's created himself, and I do feel like this is leading him to kind of really question what the fuck he's doing with his life, um, because he could have had he could have had a lot. And instead he chose, you know, frivolous 3D things instead of love, in effect. Okay, Spirit, what is this? That was quick. Oh. Okay, so, yeah, karmic relationship, um, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So I do feel as if he's going through some karmic lessons at the moment, which is very, very clear. Um, I do feel as if the... Divine Feminine has walked away from him. And I do feel as if there probably is a karmic partner of some form within this. This doesn't have to be romantic, but it certainly could be. Um, it certainly could be. <laughs> it could be friendship. It could be a mother or stuff. But I feel like, you know, turmoil, triggered. Um, he's receiving some very harsh lessons here. And I do feel a little bit like he's a little bit kind of bamboozled is the word that I just heard. We also have girl talk out here as well. So I feel like he is timing, finding times with friends. Um, you know, he is trying to move on. It says happily single here. So I don't know whether if there is a karmic partner that he's thinking about moving on from this karmic partner. This could be representing the divine feminine though is what I'm feeling here. So I feel like possibly he's watching you being single, having great time, you know, living living in the moment, having time with friends and moving on from him. And I just saw 18, 18 on the timer. And I feel like this is triggering the shit out of him. We've got stabbed in the back on reverse um, on the bottom. So this is heartbreak, pain, separation, deception and um, a shocking attack, okay? So I feel like, and this was in reverse, so I feel as if like this is what he feels like you're doing to him, which is silly, because obviously you're not, and I do have love call on there. So I do feel a little bit like the last time you guys spoke, it was actually very nice. It was actually a nice conversation. So I do feel like this is confusing him because it's kind of like, um, you know, it's, it is up and down and in and out, but he gets back, he's being mirrored what he mirrors. So if he comes in with whimsical, wishy-washy energy, that's what he's going to get back. And tell me to tell you, read my tea. You have not to find out the reality. You are the reality. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? So what he receives back is exactly what he's being. So, so yeah, and I split to the butterfly there, and that's in reverse as well. So relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. And I feel, again, that's a little bit like the Divine Feminine and where she's at at the moment. I feel that the Divine Feminine has disconnected, and she's working on herself. And actually, a really important message that I was going to put up, and I forgot to put it up because I was talking to somebody else on... Um, I sent it via message to somebody on Instagram instead of actually putting up on thing. Remember that you two are mirrors for each other, okay? So... 
the divine feminine gives so much to the divine masculine because she doesn't love herself as much as she loves him. The divine masculine cannot come to the divine feminine because he doesn't love himself enough to actually give himself what he wants. And so conversely, and it feels like the exact opposite of what one should do, the one thing that the divine feminine must, must do, because obviously she's the one that's leading this thing in the 5D, what you're healing in the 3D, he heals through reciprocal energy in the 5D between twin flames. So the more that you choose yourself, divine feminine, okay, the more that he will learn to choose himself. And in choosing himself, as counterintuitive as it is, he will actually choose you. The only reason why a twin flame masculine isn't with his divine feminine is because he's trapped in his ego. And so, excuse me, anxiety, but. And so he's trapped in his ego. And so what he follows is not necessarily what he wants in his heart. He follows what he thinks he should have based on what society tells him what he should have. And that could be that he goes after money or he acts like a player or he does all of these things to, you know, make his make his uh, heart, uh, make himself, his ego feel better. Whereas actually that's not really what makes him feel good. It's not really what gives him love in life. And that's not really what he wants to do. And so by the divine feminine, by the divine feminine, showing him how she is choosing herself first and going after herself, loving herself, putting herself first, she'll actually, he'll begin to start marrying that, that, that behavior back to her. her. And so as she heals it in the 3D, she passes that healing to him in the 5D, and then this becomes something that he starts to implement. And so her loving herself will actually in turn allow him to love her, okay? Because one, she must be the receiver because she's the divine feminine. So he must do the chasing, okay? But when you're loving him more than you're loving yourself, you're the one who's chasing, aren't you? Because you're like, please don't leave me. I love you, I love you. You have to lean right back out and start healing and loving yourself, pulling yourself out of the clutches of the relationship with him. In effect, this is where we're at now because many of the divine feminines, if you're in my collective and you're listening to my advice, you will have closed the cycle out with him or you'll be in the process of closing the cycle out with your divine masculine because um, you will recognize that every time that you get back in connection with him, you, re you restart the cycle. And the cycle is that he can come in and come out as he likes with no steadiness, no offer, no nothing, okay? Suck off your energy, as it were, and, and then walk away and then and leave you, uh, you know, leave you heartbroken and, and with nothing. And that's not the energy that you should be putting up with. And it's not the energy that he should be allowed to give. And so by you now, in effect, closing this door on him and saying that he's not, you know, he's not good enough for you as he is. One, it will cause him to want to implement these things, but as you begin to detach from him and pour all the love that you would be pouring into him, into yourself, you are also modeling to him how you expect to be loved, okay? Because we teach other people how to treat us by what we allow. So every time he comes in, Mr. Wishy-Washy, and you allow it, you're teaching him that he's allowed to treat you like Mr. Wishy-Washy. Okay, so this is the gamble that we've been talking about. And really, it's not much of a gamble if you look at it like that. It's just obvious, like, oh, fucking hell, what am I doing? And, and if it is a gamble and you feel like this is a gamble and you feel like this man is going to walk away from you rather than, rather than step up to the plate, well, then that's a blessing. Because we don't want men in our lives that don't treat us like the fucking goddess empresses that we are. Okay, so really really important lesson there and if you're feeling like it's a gamble I want you to know that it isn't a gamble okay just split to the three of cups there it's not a gamble it is a necessary action in the same way like you know when a toddler is learning to walk if you keep holding them up all the time they never learn to walk Okay, and the divine feminine during this relationship, she acts as somebody who's constantly holding up the energy of the masculine, so he never learns to stabilize himself. And so every time he is feeling, you know, rubbish and bad and whatever, um, he he comes in and and uh, you know comes in, gets a bit of your energy, and then goes off and leaves you. Um, 
and you end up feeling like shit because you allow it. So we're no longer allowing this stuff. And if you're having trouble with this and you're having trouble with healing and you're having trouble getting back into reunion and breaking these cycles, send me a message or leave me a comment below, okay? And I'll send you a message, I'll send you a link because I run a course called the Twin Flame Codex that is teaching all of us to be able to get back into divine union as fast as possible, okay? So let's have a little look at what's going on for him in the 3D. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm just thinking, do I want to use these cards? No, I'm going to use my normal tarot weight. No, tarot weight? Rider right weight, even. And then we're going to have a little look at... Um... Yeah, so we're going to go into the extended reading now, guys. So if you'd like to see what is happening for him in the 3D, um, take a little look at the link below... Uh, in the 5D, sorry, what he's feeling... What he's feeling in the 5D from his higher self. We're going to have a little look at how he's feeling about the relationship, how he's feeling about you, and some messages as well from his higher self to you. Okay, so if you are interested in that reading, please um, take a little look at the link below, and you can either sign up to Patreon um, and have that uh, as a bi weekly service um, or you can buy the extended readings just just as a one-off it's entirely up to you okay thank you for watching if you are leaving me here and if you're not come on over to what's going on for him in the 5d i love you take care of yourself i'll see you soon if you are